To see what happened when the service desk executed the script to update user settings, we need to log in as an administrator because this is a function that the service desk people do not have. The administrator has more menu items than the service desk person does. I'm going to log over in the configurator power script settings and head over to scripts management. The script was called update user settings. Here's the name of the script. Here is the help text which is displayed to the user when they select the script. It's a user script that tells power scripts when the script should appear. And finally, there's the actual script itself. This is just straight up a PowerShell. It takes a number of parameters, only one of which is required, which is the user principal name. The rest of them for a first name, last name, department title are optional. You can see that mandatory equals false. And then what happens as the script executes based on what the service desk person has entered as a parameter, it says, well, if title was provided, which in this case it was, it's going to set the user arguments by adding the parameter title with the value that the person provided. Then it comes down here and executes this commandlet, set uh, Microsoft Online user, user principal name, user principal name was the parameter that was provided automatically when we selected the user, and then the set user arguments get built dynamically based on the information that the service desk person types in. And then it comes back with write output user settings updated if everything goes fine. And if there's any kind of error or exception, then it goes down into this catch block and that's what gets returned back to the user. So what it shows you here is that anything that you can script in PowerShell, you can turn into a Power Script and then you can delegate that script down to the service desk to minimize the number of escalations for the types of things that normally would be done using PowerShell.